Hey beautiful people, it's Rakia and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how I got my client this $3,000 Visa credit card. Listen, it was without a credit check. They did not check the client's credit reports and look at their credit score. So if their credit was good or bad, it didn't, it didn't really matter. And listen, it did not drop them because they did not get a hard inquiry. So if you're interested in getting this credit card or maybe even any store, to, store credit cards using the shopping cart trick, make sure you follow these steps completely step by step you guys and if you ever have any questions make sure you guys drop it down below now listen you guys even though i'm showing you guys this visa credit card there are so many more credit cards so go ahead and look down in the description and get the full list of all of the shopping cart trick credit cards and if you guys really 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 want to get a discount on like my store make sure you guys are texting score to twenty one thousand so that you guys can get the 50 percent off coupon for my store if you guys want me to try to do this trick for you and get this visa credit card just like i helped the other client the client asked me to try i tried it it worked and they got it if you got you want me to try this for you too make sure you guys look in the description i have the link for that too and remember make Make sure you guys like and subscribe, but I want us to jump right on into the process of what we have to do. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to opt into something called the pre-screen opt-out and also factor trust. When you opt into both of these companies, they're going to give all your information to the credit card companies that give out credit cards saying, hey, Rakita trying to get a credit card, so go ahead and send her a pre-approval. So when you go to the websites, we're going to get a pre-approval message, which is a pop-up saying, congratulations, you're pre-approved. But in able to... So, but in order for us to actually get that pop-up, we have to act like we're going to buy something. We're not going to really buy something. We're going to act like we're going to buy something. But let me show you guys how to opt in to Factor Trust and the pre-screen opt-out, and we'll go over the next steps next. With Factor Trust, all you have to do is just come to the website, and I'll have it down in the description. Just go ahead and click opt-in, and then click submit. Now, they do have an option where you can call them and you can opt in, but I just suggest that you guys just go ahead and fill out this form and it will happen faster. So go ahead and put your first, your last name in, put your social security number, your date of birth. Go ahead and put your address here, your city, state, and zip code, and put your email address in. After you put all this information in, all you have to do is click confirm, and then I want you to go to the next website, which is the opt-out pre-screen. Now, when you're on the opt-out pre-screen, it's going to be like the same thing that you just did for the factor trust. So just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click here to opt in or opt out. Now, after you do that, then go ahead and put your name, address, social security number, date of birth in <laughs> on the next screen. So right here, you see opt in just like on the other website here. I want you guys to see that it automatically says opt in. You do not want to opt out. That is very, very important. Do not opt out. Leave it at opt in. So go ahead and click, click continue. Now you want to go ahead and put your first and last name here, social security number, your date of birth. Go ahead and put your address in here and make sure you put your phone number in. This is going to be very important that you put the same information here that you put on Factor Trust. Okay, perfect, you guys. Now you guys opted into the pre-screen opt-out and you also opted into Factor Trust. So now that you opted in, I want you guys to follow these steps. We have to clear the cookies on our computer and on our phone, whichever device you're gonna use. I suggest you guys use a computer though. So clear the cookies on your computer and after you clear the cookies, you want to allow pop-ups. So I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to clear your cookies, how to allow pop-ups on your computer. And then after that, we have to go into incognito mode so that we can go to the store that we wanna get the credit card from and start this process. So let's just hop right on in and do the process. You want to go click this three dots here and you want to go down to your settings. So click settings here. Now, after you click settings right here, I want you to type pop. So P-O-P. -P. So literally that simple. Go ahead and type pop there. You see, I put pop here and you can see right here, you see pop is highlighted. We want to click on that. Go to the bottom and you see where it says pop-ups and redirects. You want to click that and you want to make sure that this says allowed. Usually you may see it as blocked because you don't want pop-ups, especially from sites that you do not know. So you want to make sure it says allowed. After you do that, I want you to go ahead and type cookies here. So yes, go ahead and type cookies. And then I want you to go right here where it says clear browsing data. Go ahead and click there. After you click there, then you want to go ahead and clear all of your data out of your computer. Now, the reason that you want to do this is so that when you go to these other, when you go to the stores, you don't want them to know that you've been to other stores yet. You don't want them to know anything about you. They know anything about you. They can track you through your cookies, through your phone. Then if they can track you, then you may not be able to get the trick to work for you. So after you do that, then I want you to go ahead and click the three dots here again at the top because now we want to go ahead and do the shopping cart trick. So we want to go ahead and click new incognito window. So click there, and this is the window here. 
Okay, beautiful people, so now we cleared our cookies, we allow pop-ups, and we're incognito mode. Now we have to actually go to the website where we wanna get the credit card from. So we're gonna get our credit card from the campingworld.com website, which is going to be that Good Sam Visa credit card. So let's hop right on in, and let me show you the step-by-step -step process on how to get that credit card. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Camping World in, because we're going to get the Visa credit card with Camping World. So it's actually gonna be Good Sam Visa, but it's called campingworld.com. So let's just go to their website and we wanna find 200 to $250 worth of items to put in the cart. So I wanna go ahead and click X right here. I do not wanna allow the location. And you should get a pop-up. Try to scroll down some to see if a pop-up is gonna pop up yet for you. And if not, just go ahead and click shop now. I just want you to confirm that your pop-up blocker is not on you want to make sure that you're there you're allowing pop-ups so there we go right there so that is the pop-up that you should get if you get that that means that the pop-up blocker is on so let's go ahead and click continue to site because we do not want to join and we want to put 200 to 250 dollars worth of items in the cart so i like to just find something like this right here i can try to find something that's just already like in that range so i can just get one thing or even something like this too i like the water hose let's go ahead and get the water hose and we can get two of these so go ahead the length we just want to make sure our price is right so that's 100 105 dollars basically and for 25 feet it's going to be more so let's just go ahead and click here let's click add to cart so we want to add this to cart now let's go ahead and click review cart and check out. So let's go ahead and just add this, add another one here so it could be two because we wanna make sure that this amount right here, uh oh, they pushed the wrong one. We wanna make sure that this amount right here is at least 200 to $250 in between that amount. So let's go ahead and click secure checkout. And look, they even have a thing right here, apply for the Good Sam Visa. So no, we don't want to do that. We want to click secure checkout. Now, remember, we want to act like we're going to buy these items. So let's go ahead and put that same information that we put into Factor Trust and that same information that we put into the pre-screen opt-out. Let's go ahead and put that same information into this website. Now, the information that they're requesting is your first name, your last name, your address here with your city, state, and zip code, and then they want your phone number. But remember, make sure you put your dash in here. You see it's 333-dash. So make sure you're putting it in just like that. Put your email address. If you do not want to receive offers from them, make sure you guys check this so that you're not receiving any offers. And then keep this the same. The billing is the same as shipping. So go ahead and just put that same information that you put into Factor Trust here. So I'm going to start doing that right now, you guys. All of the information here. So what you want to do is you want to go down and you want to click continue to payment. And then while you're on the screen, you should get a pop-up saying, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Camping World credit card. Sometimes I wait a little bit because sometimes it takes a little longer for it to actually pop up. So this is the pop-up here, you guys. So we finally got the pop-up for the Visa credit card. So now I want to dig deep because I haven't seen anybody dig deep and I haven't dug deep to show you what it looks like inside. So it says, congratulations, your name will be here, but I have that blurred out. You're pre-approved for a credit card. So you want to click, yes, I am interested. So after you click, yes, you are interested, let's look and see what information they're going to request. So let me go down some so we can block out some information. So they're gonna need your first name, your last name. They're gonna want your full date of birth, only the last four digits of your social, only, only the last four digits of your social. And then they want you to put your address here, Remember, that's the same information that you put into the Factor Trust, and that's the same information that you put into the pre-screen opt-out. And then, two, they want you to put your annual income here. Now, remember, if you're married to, you're married to Wisconsin, you could choose what income you want to put there in terms of if you want to put your spouse's income there. So you can go ahead and put your annual income here. Remember, if you're not making any income, they're not going to give you a credit card. So usually, like, when I apply for all these uh, credit cards, I make sure I add all of the income that I have coming in. And a lot of times too, if you get steady income from family, friends, work, wherever the case may be, a side hustle, you can put that as an income. But you see they have 40,000 here as an example because they're telling you what you should do. <laughs> but go ahead and put that information in. 
Now remember, they're gonna want your phone number also, so go ahead and put that information in. And then they want you to go to the bottom and they want you to go ahead and click the check the box and click submit. So go ahead and take care of that, click submit, and they should let you know like how much. Oh my gosh, you guys. So you guys seen how you can actually get the credit card with no credit check, you guys. It's not gonna be a credit check. They're gonna give you that pop-up saying, congratulations, you've been pre-approved for a credit card. You put your information in, and then after that, they should let you know exactly how much you're pre-approved for. That's how I was able to get my client this $3,000 credit card. So if you guys ever have any questions in regards to Rakita, how do I do this? How do I do that? Make sure you guys drop it down below and watch these two videos. Like and subscribe, watch these two videos, and let me know if you have any questions, you guys. I'm definitely here for you guys. And don't forget, I have my inquiry removal on my store, and I had the 50% off if you guys use my thing up here you guys see it <laughs> text score to 21,000 and you guys will be entered into my monthly hundred dollar cash there, cash app drawn and on top of that you guys you will be able to get the 50% off coupon for my store but I'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching bye bye